So I just finished smashing legs right now, guys. 250 pounds, man. I'm happy to say it's still going good. Yes, yes. So I'm gonna show you guys on the screen. And as far as um, nutrition-wise, what I eat post-workout, you know, I used to order protein shakes, uh, but now I'm getting, you know, I'm getting more comfortable, man. I gotta say, so I, I'm, I'm spending a little bit more money on protein, getting the IsoPure Zero Carb, 40 grams. I ordered this online. You pay about two fifty to three dollars online for for each bottle. It's forty grams of protein. Not sponsored by them or anything. I'm just making your life easier for those of you that are you know have a tight schedule. If you're on the run, you need to take you know you miss a couple meals. You take two of these. That's eighty grams right there. Zero carbs. Very high quality protein, and it makes it a lot a lot easier. So let me just show you guys the clip. And this is what I'm going to be doing as far as um, you know uh, my progression in the gym to stay injury free just slowly go up on things and uh it's gonna be a, a lot better that way for me and for many of you over time <laughs> i was going on guys so doing it slowly man last week i did 245 for eight reps so now i'm going for 250 just focusing on the form slow progress i'm not gonna you know jump in a crazy weight stay injury free that's my keep up with me wish me that And just to look at my post-workout meal once I get home, I have my ISO pure. I'm gonna eat more, more veggies, some spinach, corn. Uh, get that chipotle feel with that corn. Uh, if you get sweet kennel corn, banging, banging, yum. Every bite is delicious. All right, so here's the post-workout meal, eight ounces of rice, eight ounces of chicken with 100 grams of corn, some spinach, and some lentils, beans. On top of that, I'm gonna have eight ounces. Uh, I've been dieting a long time, you know, it, it got to the point where this is just a lifestyle for me. I eat this every day. Some tips uh, to switch it up and be able to, you know, get accustomed to is seasonings, man. You have so many different varieties of seasonings that you could try. You know, you got adobo, you got spicy jalapeno, you got McCormick has a whole bunch, you know, chipotle, my favorite Italian melody. And then if you don't want, you don't have beans or whatever, you could definitely add some sweet honey barbecue. You measure that to 100 calories or 50 calories per meal. You have, you know, different things. Play around with your taste buds and always switch things up if you're getting tired. And you'll be, you'll be able to stick with it a lot longer. And that's how I look out when I add everything up and, you know, usually a cup or maybe two cups of this, depending how my body's, you know, changing over the weeks. I honestly was not enjoying leg day. And the reason why I wasn't enjoying it but was because I wasn't setting any goals that made me look forward to leg day. And once I started doing that, you know, uh, saying I want to target this amount of weight, it became more fun. It's becoming more fun. I'm starting to like it again because I used to love it before, but now I'm starting to love it more. Just the fact that you're chasing a number that's difficult to achieve and it's going to take time. So definitely set your goals, guys. Write it down. I'm telling you right now, write it down and always train. Even when you're cutting, I know a lot of you guys are cutting for summer. You still have to train like you want to grow, even though you, it's hard to do that and impossible for natural athletes. You still want to train the same way as you would during your bolt. So you still always want to aim to get strong because if you're getting weaker, there's a bigger possibility of you losing muscle and you're not going to look as hard and as you know well-developed when you finish your cut. So definitely set goals. One of my goals at the moment is to lunge 135, the barbell, 
back and forth in the back room of uh, Retro Fitness. Back and forth, and then, you know, slowly work up to 185, and so on. Lunges are difficult, so they, things take out the air out of you. So uh, definitely try those out for those of you, especially you females. Really good exercise. You can switch, you know, the where you put the pressure. You can put it on your glutes, you can put it on your quads, or you can put it right in between, depending on how long the footsteps are. But, and it's, it's, it works on your balance as well. All right, everyone, so that's the video for today. I will be bringing another one this week. More helpful tips. Uh, stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe. Hold on to the channel, man.